I'm just going to use a few of my early prototypes to show you how the body gets folded up, the circuit gets attached, and everything gets connected to the card. You're going to have your body template. It will have already been folded in the middle. You can fold the elbows up. Don't forget to cut these tabs out. It will be important later. You're going to need a fold here that matches up with this button. You can draw that with a pen on the back that also scores it. You take a pen and make it really heavy. That will make a nice score line. And you also want to draw a line here and fold that back and forth. To do these diagonal folds, the easiest thing to do is fold it in half and just fold this back and forth and this one back and forth, just bending those arms out of the way. Now we open it up. This is the tricky part. Let's see if I can get this to work. This fold goes up. This fold goes down. This feet goes in. It's a valley fold, it's a mountain fold. And there is your pop-up figure. When you close it, the arms point straight up. And when you open it, they come out. Next, we're going to attach the head and then put the circuit on it. The head goes on the back, and this edge lines up with the elbow. I'm just taping it, but you can make it look a little neater than that. It's going to eventually come back around and attach to the other arms. But this is how we're going to put the circuit on. I've got one where I've already got the conductive tape on here. We're going to put the LEDs on upside down so that the positive side is on this lower tape and the negative side is on the upper tape. I'm just using white LEDs because it's going to be shining through colored cover that we're going to add to this that will then diffuse it and add some color to the lights. The circuit tape, the conductive tape, comes down about this far and then just leave some ends hanging off because we have to attach the body to the card and then it's gonna, we're going to bring it through this opening. Now we're going to add the body to the card and continue the circuit. I've already got some double-sided glue down here, and this glue tab that is on the body's right goes over here. It matches that shape right there, and the cuts should line up. So we want the fold to go where the fold is. Right there, there, there. So that way this pop-up can still pop up, and we actually need some more tape so that this can connect right to here. So let me do that. This should be staying up like that. And let's Now we can bring the tape down over that pop-up tab there. So this is a little tricky. I'm not even sure how to get a good angle of it for you, but right in there that conductive tape is going down here. And then we're going to continue it out and onto the backing card. The inside of the outer layer of card looks like this. It has a mark to show you where the battery is going to go. And this is where we're going to put that inner layer of card. I've already got my double-sided tape there. Close that so I can 
hold it flat for a second. And I'm just going to glue this right on where that opening is marked. Try to line it up as best you can. And then we've got this, okay. So now we've got to get where our tape ends here. It's going to come down over this pop-up tab, turn around, come down here, and hook up to where the battery goes. I'm going to be using an exciting new product. This is the Conductive Tapes new roll, and it should work really well to keep the tape from falling off the roll. This has been a problem through the years, so I'm very excited to use that. I'm going to cut a few pieces, and then I'm going to connect them with the ends there and run it down to here. Now that you've got your tape heading in the right direction, don't forget to put the rest of the figure together. You need to attach the other arm. The cover for the pumpkin face will have already been put on here and it's the same shape, so it just goes right over there. And you're going to attach this side now to the card. I've already got some double-sided glue going on there. So I'm just going to hopefully get this to match where it's supposed to fit. This gets bent down this way. And this goes here, that goes there, that goes there, and that's all attached. So now you can one. attach the remainder of the conductive tape to the battery. On my original card, I used one of these nice pre-printed battery holders that came with a foam tape collar to hold the battery in. Uh, if you don't have one of those, you can kind of make your own. This is just a scrap of cardstock that I've taped over here. And I've got a peel and stick foam dot that I'm going to put there to hold the battery in place. And I think because this one is so big that I'm going to just leave some of that tape on there. So I don't accidentally close my battery holder up for good. Now I'm going to run the, let's see, this is the negative tape on the bottom. Right over that foam tape that's going to hold my battery in place. And that can just go right there. And then my battery goes positive side up, gets squished down there. And then the positive tape goes up and over here. Since I'm a little short, I will add one more piece of conductive tape over there. And this one, we need to make sure it doesn't go too far. We don't want it to accidentally touch the negative. And I think my battery is more like over here. So I'm going to just angle it down here. And I'm going to cut it off so it doesn't go anywhere near the bottom of the battery. Okay. Let's see how this works. 
All right. I'm going to press this down. The lights go on. And the original card. I'll squeeze this. And the lights came on and they look a little orange shining through the pumpkin. And I have another pumpkin here to be the button. And that's how you put the Sleepy Hollow Headless Horseman card together.